Okay. All right. Did anybody get that? This meeting's been recorded, I think, there. I'll just press continue. Awesome, right. Uh, well, Kieran's just said it there, Sophie. I mean, many congratulations, first of all, but this is indeed one for the history books, whether it's in an hour's time, in a year's time, in 50 years' time. Uh, Ipswich Sound's first professional female player is, was Sophie Pesketh. How does that feel? Yeah, obviously, like, it's an amazing feeling. Like, I can't really put it into words. Um, so, yeah, it's just amazing. Like, just the feeling right now is just, yeah, I can't describe it. It's the latest milestone in what's been quite a time for you at the club. I mean, you only actually arrived in 2019. And I think in that time, we, we yet to complete a full season. But it feels like so much has happened. Yeah, yeah, obviously, like, I haven't been here that long. Um, but, yeah, as you said, like, we've done so well as a, as a team. And, yeah, it's just so much has happened in the last two years where it just, it feels so surreal, but it, it's a really good way to start off what we're trying to do at the club. So much has happened in the last two years, as you say, and so much has happened in the last fortnight, even without a ball being kicked. We've got this momentous news today and also just under a fortnight ago, promotion finally confirmed and much deserved for the women's team how did it feel when that was finally confirmed and and the build-up to that was that a little bit edgy thinking oh hang on this might happen again it might you know we, we might have to go without it yeah I think we all sort of were quite confident but I think I was like guilty of I didn't want to be too confident and then almost get my hopes like hopes down so yeah I sort of it was a bit nervy going it like going into it where we found out but Obviously, once we found out, it was just, it was amazing. And we were all just so excited for next season now. Yeah, and you must be excited for next season when you'll be playing at step three. And given how you've performed against high level opposition in the last couple of years, you could do some damage at step three, couldn't you? Yeah, obviously, everyone in the team, we're just looking to perform as best as we can as a team. Um, and obviously, yeah, from the uh, scores we've had in the past, we've... Um, uh, teams in the league above we've just done really well so yeah we're all look like really looking forward to seeing how we get on against them and with regards to your news today I noticed the club said that there had been super league interest in you how aware had you you been of that and was that tempting ever at any point um obviously like it's, it's not it's like motivating to sort of get that recognition but I, I think it was always a no-brainer for me to stay at Ipswich. Like, all the support I have from all the staff, players, that like, relationships I've formed in the last two years, it wasn't too much of a hard decision for me to make. It's a real statement from the club, I feel, both in you and in this women's team as well, because professional contracts at this level are quite rare, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, like, when I was told about it, it was... I was quite shocked and it was it was amazing so yeah it's obviously really nice to see the ambition of the club and the what they're willing to put into it. And how beneficial is this to you and to say your family as well we know that players make lots and lots of sacrifices you're reliant on family you're reliant on sponsors to an extent as well how is this going to help? Yeah obviously my whole life I've made sacrifices where I've sort of done it almost off my own back and obviously because I love it. So it's obviously going to be very helpful. Um, and it's going to help me with my studies next year, um, like going to university. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be really helpful with that. And just finally, Sophie, it comes at a, a time when, you know, what we hope will be a really exciting time for the football club. Uh, we've had news of the takeover in recent months. Uh, the, a world famous music, musician is going to be sponsoring the shirts next season. Lots and lots of stuff is happening at the club. How does it feel to, to be a part of it? Yeah, obviously so much is going on at the moment and just the feel around it is just amazing. Like Being in the environment is just so surreal. So yeah, I've, I'm loving it. There's been, there's been a lot of um, a lot of hype, deserved hype, a, a big buzz around this women's team in recent seasons. I mean, from my perspective, in terms of covering Ipswich Town, it's been one of the most exciting things about covering Ipswich Town in recent seasons. But have you noticed, given events of the past few weeks, a, an extra buzz about the place? Yeah, obviously I know one thing I do love about this club is that all the fans, everyone gets behind us so much. Um, so yeah, I'd say 
just the feel around it is just amazing and the support we get is just you wouldn't get it anywhere else and just on that support i know it's only been a few hours since the announcement but um your twitter feed has, has probably been going crazy i noticed from yeah. from teammates from from coaches like i saw a really nice message from andy bayford loads of people you know are, are loving this news today and are, and are right behind you yeah it's obviously really nice to like get all the support from it um and we sort of expected it to be like that so it's just I'm trying to sort of reply to people and yeah, sort of give back. Cause obviously I know how much the supporters and stuff do put in to like support us and watch our games. So yeah, it's amazing. Well, congrats once again, Sophie. We wish you all the best going forward and look forward to catching up next season. Thank you. Okay, Katie. Uh, congratulations, Sophie. Um, what a momentous day for the club. I mean, how, how, what does this mean to you, kind of your professional development as a player? You know, you, you've, been with, you've been with town for a couple of years. How does this sort of change the way you, you approach your kind of footballing career going forward? Um, I don't think it changes too much because obviously I've always just had, I've always wanted to have a sort of professional attitude towards it anyway. Um, but I'd say it's, it, again, it just sort of helps to sort of support what I'm trying to do and just develop me as a player physically, mentally, technically, everything. So, yeah. And how key is it to have kind of that sort of financial support and not have to think about, I know a lot of your uh, colleagues, they have other jobs, they have other responsibilities to make sure that they can still keep sort of uh, with, uh, you know, with town on their days off and stuff. How much does it mean to not have to kind of worry about those sort of things? Yeah, that's obviously really good because like I know, there's some players obviously in the previous years who have sort of had to make sacrifices, not be at training or not be at a game because of a job that obviously in some ways can be more important. Um, so it's obviously really nice to be able to not have to worry about that side of it. And I can just focus on my football and just keep getting better. Uh, I know we were talking to, to Joe last week. He He's very ambitious for next season. You know, he, he said if you'd won it on the pitch, you'd be looking perhaps uh, kind of to try and bounce back double, you know, head up to the championship. Is that something you see you, your team being able to manage next season? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, as Joe said, if we were to have won it on the pitch, I think it would have put us in there with really good momentum. Um, obviously, how it happened... It's not ideal, but I do still think we are still pushing for promotion and I don't see why we can't do that. Uh, a lot's been sort of made of, of, of women's football players being sort of role models for the next generation. Obviously, you're, you're the first player not only for Ipswich Town, but in, in Suffolk for, you know, w within the county to get a, a professional contract. I mean, does that sort of change the way you see yourself as a role model? You know, you've obviously got quite a strong academy side that look up to, to the likes of you as well. Yeah, I guess so. I think, obviously, as much next year, I want to help out doing sort of coaching and things like that with like the community trust to sort of support that side and like be a role model to young players who are getting better. So, yeah, I think obviously being a role model is what I want to do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. Congratulations, Sophie. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, Sophie. Um, I was just wondering, did you have an agent before all this? Or has it all kind of worked on, on that side of things? No, I didn't. I just sort yeah. of, me and my parents, yeah. <laughs> and sort of, Joe sort of obviously would help with things like that. Okay, and, and, and sort of as the only full-time pro on the, the women's side, how, how sort of training going to work and that kind of thing? What Because what, obviously... You, all your teammates aren't going to be coming in at 10 a.m. like all the, the fellow pros on the men's team do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess I'm not really sure what the structure looks like for next season, to be honest with you. Um, so well, I guess we'll have to see. OK, thank you very much indeed. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, thank you. Have a great season ahead. And uh, oh, oh, England. I was going to ask about England. Um, are you involved with England this, at, at the moment? I, I know you've won caps at under-19 level, haven't you? Yeah, so... With the England setup, obviously with COVID, it got stopped at the under 19s and they've done the draw for the World Cup uh, where England aren't in it. So it's sort of stopped now um, for my age group. So I'll be looking for the seniors next. So yeah, that's a shame, but that is what it is. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations again. And, uh, thank you. Season ahead.
Okay, guys, thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. Um, Cheers, Kieran. Great, great afternoon for the football club. So, uh, yeah, good to get, get you guys involved and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I'll send all this over to you. So, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers, See you. Bye. 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 Bye.